What if you could have a career where the opportunities are as vast as our nation, where it's not about mission statements, but a shared mission? At U.S. Customs and Border Protection, we go beyond to protect more than borders, from ship to shore, air to ground, cities to local communities. CBP agents and officers are keeping people safe. Join U.S. Customs and Border Protection and go beyond for something far greater than yourself. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast, but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. From Milwaukee's new $5 million arena, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mama me. Every day I'm learning something new about the American and his ways. I remember when I'm a first to come here, how stupid I was. I used to ask somebody how to go somewhere, and they used to tell me, get the lost. Now I'm here almost a year and a half, and I'm no have to ask nobody. I'm going to get the lost all by myself. <laughs> yes, Mamma Mia, like they say here, I'm going ahead all the time. Only thing that's not going ahead is my antique shop. That's a moving backwards. From a slow business to no business. I think it would have been better if my shop was in Italy. At the least, I would have got a help from the Marshall plan. And you know, over here, I'm only got a help from the Pasquale plan. And remember me, you know what's behind that plan? That's Pasquale's fat daughter Rosa. Mamma mia, she's a fat. <laughs> when I'm going go around the corner with Rosa, I'm already by the candy store when she's still making a turn. <laughs> anyway, I was sitting in my store and thinking maybe I should go into some other business like oil or like lumber. When my door is open up, and in there's come a big wind. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, you're pretty happy today, huh? I'm always happy when I'm looking at you, my little banana nose. <laughs> Gosh, today I'm got a special reason for being happy. That's on account of Congress. Pasquale, you mean the Congress is going to marry Rosa? No, Congress, a fresh guy, you. Huh? You're going to laugh with the other side out of your mouth. Eh? Hey. Look on this headline. Congress may authorize ceiling raises. That's all right. That's what I'm going to do to you right away. Raise your ceiling. But, Pasquale, why? Since I'm a guy at the store, i am never had a customer who was too tall to come in. Uh, there's no use of talking to you. You're just a maroon. 
Luigi, raising the ceilings means the Congress is giving me the right as a landlord to raise up your rent. Oh, raise up my rent? <laughs> How you feel about that, eh? Uh, terribly. <laughs> Good. Now, look, Luigi, I'm not a hard man. Your rent is now $50 a month, right? Right. Well, I'm just going to raise you 10%. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. From now on, your rent is $100. <laughs> but, Pasquale, what am I going to do? Now, instead of not being able to pay you $50 a month, I'm not going to be able to pay you 100 Well, you don't have to pay me back in the money, Luigi. You could have paid me back in the services. That's all right, Pasquale. You mean you want I'm sure to clean up the store, wash your windows, or what? No, no, Luigi. The kind of services I'm thinking of is a different. What the kind of services are you thinking of? Wedding services. <laughs> no, no, Pasquale. I'm not going to marry your daughter, Rosa. She's too fat for me. Luigi, Rosa is no fat. She's just uh, chubby. <laughs> Is it too much a chub? <laughs> Don't talk like that, Luigi. I got a good news for you. Is no more? Two hundred and fifty pounds? No. Rose is away on a diet, and now she's down to a shadow. How much is she away now? Two hundred and forty-seven pounds. <laughs> That's a summer shadow. She's away more than a both of us are put together. Look, you little pup squeak. I'm a sick you beat me up around the bushes. I brought you to this country for only one reason. And that wasn't because I needed someone with who to play Kanata. <laughs> I brought you here to marry my Rosa and that's the finish. Here yeah, and if I'm a marry Rosa, that's my finish. Pasquale, please, maybe maybe if you wouldn't have bought a Rosa, she would have forgotten me. Impossible. They got a saying, elephants are never forget, and the roses are no different. <laughs> Luigi, I was never more serious in my life. Mm. Now, be careful how you answer my questions. All right. Sir. First of all, uh, you want to get married, yes? No. In other words, you want to be a bachelor, no? Yes, sir. Now, the jackpot the question. Do you want a rosa? Pasquale, you keep the jackpot. <laughs> All right, all right, Luigi. You just passed the sentence on yourself. I'm throwing you out of your store. What? The... That's all right. I'm a dispossession of you. For non payment to your rent and for non merriment to my daughter Rosa. Don't even bother to come home from night school tonight because there's going to be a lock out of your door and you can't get in. Come, Pasquale, you really mean it? Don't even uh... talk to me. We're true. I'm telling you, don't come home because you're going to find your antiques in the garbage you can, your clothes in the gutter, and your bed on the sidewalk. And it ain't because of Chicago is the windy city. Come on, mommy. That's what I told you. Don't worry about that. All right, right class. Quiet, please. Uh, please. Please. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Horowitz? Here. Mr. Olson? Hey, yeah. Mr. Schultz? Mr. Schultz, when you hear your name, doesn't that mean anything to you? Oh, certainly. Schultz, that's the name that made Milwaukee famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Oh, what a sensation I would be on the radio. <laughs> My friend Schultz. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz, that'll be enough. Now, class, today's lesson on geography will center on that very important city of Milwaukee, the largest city in Wisconsin. Ah, Milwaukee, my hometown. I know it like a book. <laughs> well, good, Mr. Schultz. Then perhaps you can answer my questions. Oh, uh, <clears throat> well, you see, Miss Spalding, I'd rather not discuss Milwaukee. It's something personal about a girl and me and... Uh... All right, Mr. Schultz. I won't call on you if it'll hurt your feelings. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Spalding. Oh, have I got that teacher for shimmer? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Horowitz, will you tell us something about Milwaukee? With pleasure. Milwaukee is a city. Well, of course. But tell us something about its size. Now, how does it compare with other great American cities? Oh, 
Well, it's bigger than some and smaller than others. <laughs> Why don't I think up answers like that? Oh, now, please. Can someone tell us the answer? If you will just call on me, Miss Spaulding, I will be real happy to answer all your questions. Ooh, what a show-off. <laughs> please, Mr. Schultz. Thank you, Mr. Olson. I know I can always count on you. Thank you, Miss Spaulding. And now I shall give you the general population of Milwaukee. Its size, its industries, its points of interest, its rivers, its lakes, and its public buildings. There he goes, Sweden's answer to the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to him, Mr. Olson. Give the answer. Yo ho. Milwaukee is the largest city in Wisconsin and the 13th largest city in the United States. It has the general population of 587,472. 473. My sister Katie just had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so smile, everybody. The cigars are on me. Mr. Schultz, that'll be enough, Mr. Olson. Now, perhaps someone else will volunteer. Mr. Basco, you haven't said a thing. Huh? Mr. Basco, you may tell us on which of the Great Lakes is Milwaukee situated. Lake Erie? No. Lake Superior? No. Lake Huron? No. Lake... Uh... Luigi, stop pouring so much water into Milwaukee. <laughs> you are ruining the beer. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, one more remark, and you may leave the class. Now, Mr. Basco, haven't you studied your lesson for today? Well, I, I'm a study to Miss Spaulding, but I'm all mixed up because I've got the same old trouble with the Pasquale. Oh, you mean about Rosa? Yeah, on a this time, is it the worst? Pasquale is a throw me out of my studies and told me I'm never going to come back no more. Ah, Luigi, this is a blessing in disguise. Now you can get away from him. I give you the first invitation. Luigi, live in my house. Luigi, it would be a pleasure to have you in my house. Luigi, my house is always open to you. Ach, the way we are asking him, you'd think he was Hedy Lamar. <laughs> now, but friends, friends, are you wonderful, but I'm a no one. No, no, say no more, Luigi. I ask you first, you are staying in my house. I can hardly wait to call my wife, Frida, and tell her to throw another Wiener Schnitzel on the fire. <laughs> and, Luigi, I'm going to look for a job for you in my furniture factory. Furniture factory? Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful, Luigi. You get $50 a week and all the beds you can take home. Ach, <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. I'm only trying to cheer you up. I am going to ask for you at the gas company. I'll look around myself, Mr. Bass. Oh, to thank you so much, your friends. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know what to say to you. Ach, don't say anything, Luigi. Save that for Pasquale. Oh, with all these jobs, I can just see you six months from now. You mean when I'm going to talk to Pasquale? Ach, yeah. You'll come there with your pockets full of money and you'll say, Pasquale, you started me off and I can thank you for everything. But from now on, I don't need you anymore. I'm collecting unemployment insurance. Before we return to Life with Luigi, I'd just like to mention the enjoyment you can get by chewing delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Whether you're indoors or outdoors, working or simply taking things easy, you can slip a stick of Wrigley Spearmint into your mouth, and you're all set for some good chewing. You see, Wrigley Spearmint gum has lots of lively, refreshing, real mint flavor. Not only tastes good, but it also cools your mouth and helps sweeten your breath. And the smooth, easy chewing adds enjoyment to whatever else you're doing. So treat yourself to Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum often. It's good, and good for you. Now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, life is a good to me. Even though Pasquale is a throw me out, all of my friends is a help me. Last night, I went home with a Schultz. And this morning, already Olsen told me he thinks he's got me a job with a gas company as a troubleshooter. 
first time I thought it was a funny job to go around and shoot in the trouble. But as soon as they tell me my job is it going to be to look for gas leaks. Mamma mia, if I'm ever get to this job, I'm going to be the best man that they ever had. I'm going to buy myself a cigarette lighter, and I'm going to find the leak right away. <laughs> All the saw Horowitz is a call to me, and I... Luigi, my fellow booby, I got wonderful news for you. I was talking to all my customers, and right in the middle of Mrs. Barkin's pickle herring, I asked her about you. And guess what? what? Her husband has an employment agency. Yeah, but a sure employment agency. You think that I got a job for me? No, wait, Luigi. Don't steal the horse until I lock the bar. Uh -huh. Yeah. You don't have to wait for old Snohorowitz. I called her husband, and what do you think? It so happens a big downtown department store is looking for an assistant in their antique department. Come on, Marie. Now, come. We got no time to lose. We are going to the employment agency. Put on your best suit, your shirt, and tie right now. Sure, some are wearing them. You are? Sure. Well, that was a quick change. Well, come on, Luigi. I go with you, huh? We gotta get there first. All right, I should say, but uh, I'm, I'm so nervous. Oh, no, stop it, Luigi. You got to look cheerful and confident. All right, come on now. Be uh, like me, always smiling, always laughing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my rheumatism is killing me. Won't you sit down? I'll be very glad to help out any friend of Mr. Schultz's. Well, uh, th th thank you. Now, first, I've got to fill out this blank. Your full name? Luigi Basco, 21 and Otto Hollister Street, to Chicago, for Illinois. And your social security? No, I'm not old enough to collect. I mean your number. I'm a got no number. I'm always a got to my own business. That's good. Not for me. Tell me, Mr. Basco, how long have you been in the antique business? Well, let me see, about, about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Did you specialize in any particular kind of antiques? Yes, uh, all the ones. <laughs> Mr. Basco, uh, <clears throat> a sense of humor is a valuable asset. But seriously, do you have a good knowledge of early American pieces? Mr. Barkin, I'm not like to make a fool of a nobody. If I'm a thought I would have been no good for a job, I would have no ask for it. But since I'm coming from Italy, I'm a study on it takes all the time. Maybe I'm going to understand all the American words. But I'm going to understand everything about American antiques. Well, that's fine. Now, you go right down to the store with my recommendation. I hope you get the job because it's a good one. And money is no object. Good. I'm no object to money myself. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, you take this card. And if Mr. Smith, the personnel manager, okays you, you have the job. Good well, luck. thanks. Thank you. Let me know what happens. You should get regular vacations and two weeks off sick pay. All right. I'm going to let you know. Goodbye. That's a funny job. Every year I'm going to have to be sick for two weeks. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From Moshe. Well, Luigi, to... how did you make it out? Uh, sure, sir. Sure, sir. I think I'm going to get the job. Think. Luigi, a job is like the measles. Either you got it or you ain't got it. Well, Schultz, so maybe I'm a got to the measles. Because employment, the man is a say all right, but is not all right until a personal man is a say all right too. Stop, Luigi. You're getting me all for shimmers. Now, back up and start all over again now. Well, all right, Schultz. I'm a got to the job, uh -huh. but store rule is to say, head the man must pass, and I'm a got to see him at 30 tomorrow night. Oh, Luigi, that's wonderful news. No, wait. Wait, into my head, an idea just pooped. I'm, I'm going to throw for you a party in the back of my delicatessen, and then the whole class will go down to the store with you and help you celebrate. Oh, sure, sir. Sure, sir. You must a wonderful friend of mine ever had. Ah. How am I can ever pay you back? Easy. You make out the salary checks in my name. <laughs> ah, smile. What a party we are going to have. <laughs> I propose a toast. A toast oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To Luigi. May his new job bring him happiness, health, and wealth. 
Minus 20% for the government. Oh, that's Let's go. Oh, that's higher. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Spalding Horowitz and Olsen. You know, maybe it's not for me to say, but how much happier people are when they get together with friends. Luigi, that's true. Maybe we should revive the old custom of just people getting together. Well, let's start it off with the get-together song. Huh? Come on. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Those have sounded like Arthur Godfrey and his no talent scouts. <laughs> oh, smile, everybody. Uh, uh, not a beer, anyone. Oh, there's nothing like beer for rejuvenation. No. <laughs> How about a beer drinking song? Yeah, but that was a good idea. Yeah. Let's sing Roll Out the Barrel. Impossible. Rosa isn't here. <laughs> hey, look who just came in. It's Pasquale. Hello, everybody. Hey, Luigi, I heard all about you and your new job, and I just came to wish you luck. Well, I thank you, Pasquale. There's no hard feelings, huh? There's no hard feelings, Pasquale. Good. And if you still want to stay in your store, that's all right, too. Well, I thank you, Pasquale. We're still friends, huh? That's a good, Luigi. Uh, Luigi, is there somebody else here who wants to wish you good luck? Who's that, Pasquale? Who you think? Uh, I mean, who you think? Who you think, eh? Guess. Rosa? Uh-huh. Can I call her in? Uh-huh. Good. I call her right now. Rosa! 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 You told me, Papa! Yes, my little doll of face. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Hello, <laughs> <love> Luigi. <laughs> hello, Rosa. Ah, Himmel, it's ten minutes after eight. Luigi, you got to get to the store in time. Yeah. I will call a taxi so we can all go with the Luigi. Good, good, let's Look, go. Come on, everybody. We can all pile into one taxi. Oh, goody! You better make that two taxis. <laughs> well, you've been recommended very highly and your papers are all in order. I think you'll do fine. Well, uh... Thank you very much, Mr. Smith. There's uh, just one more small thing which must be taken care of. It's rather difficult to bring up, but, uh, well... Um... Uh, what is it? Well, you see, Basco is rather an odd name. Oh, uh, different. I think it would be a lot better if we changed it to, uh, Bassa. What? And Luigi. Well, <laughs> I think Louis would do fine. Louis Bassa. Louis Bassett, huh? Yeah, sounds excellent. So you know, you know, like my name, huh? Well, now, of course. Basco's uh... no good, huh? Well, but you're. Uh... Marconi. That's a good name, huh? Einstein, that's all right. And how's about the Pararuski? Well, but I. I... De Maggio, Kelly, O'Dwyer, Frank for a Hammerstein. Do you like those names? Well, now, you needn't get mad. I'm not mad. Is it just. Uh... Is it just that I'm a don't feel it's making me better or more American if I'm a Bassett and not the Basco? Mr. Department of Story. You keep your job, I keep my name. Goodbye. Well, Luigi, how did you make yes, it out? Job, Luigi, what happened? Tell us, quick. Oh, what's the matter, Mr. Basco? Uh, Miss Pauling. Miss Pauling, please do me a big favor. Call it the roll. What? That's right. Please, call it the roll. Well, all right. Mr. Harwood? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Present. Mr. Basco? I'm a present. Thank you, Miss Pauling. That's all I'm a want to hear.
so, Mamma Mia, when I'm going to school Excuse to what... me, Luigi. Before you finish that letter to your Mamma Mia, I'd like to tell you something. That's all right, I should. My name is Bruno Bitker. I'm a member of the Governor's Commission on Human Rights. Luigi, what happened to you is at best a distressing experience. But I'm glad to say it's happening less and less in America. And I hope that in the not-too-distant future, it will be completely wiped out. As far as Milwaukee is concerned, it makes no difference if your name is Pasco, Horowitz, Olson, Schultz, or Mahulski. It's what you do and what you stand for, not what your last name is that counts. Luigi, you and your friends are always welcome in Milwaukee. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm right down everything Mr. Bitker has said, just like he's told me. Now I'm an all. It's not only the beer that makes Milwaukee famous, it's the people. The 11th son of Luigi Vasco, the Limograph. <laughs> Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they'd like to remind you that in the hurry and scurry of a busy day, it's a good idea to have a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum handy. Whenever you feel a little bit tense or upset, chew a stick. Besides giving you enjoyment, sinking your teeth into a smooth piece of gum helps relieve that feeling of tension, sort of relaxes you without slowing you down. It's one reason millions of people chew gum while they work. Try it, won't you? See if chewing delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum doesn't help you feel better and work better. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been broadcasting tonight from the city of Milwaukee's new $5 million arena where 15,000 people have helped Life with Luigi dedicate the opening. Because of Life with Luigi, Milwaukee has declared this day Nationality Day. We are now proud to present Mr. Bruno V. Bitker, member of the Governor's Commission on Human Rights. Mr. Howard, the Governor's Commission on Human Rights was created by the Wisconsin Legislature. Here is a statement of our aims and purposes. I quote, We dedicate all our energies to the elimination of all discriminatory practices. We propose to sustain the free exercise of human rights by all peoples everywhere. And we call upon all peoples to foster those sentiments and practices which will preserve our unity and make us a strong and contented people." Unquote. We of the Commission on Human Rights recognize that radio is the great educational medium because of its tremendous power of influence in influencing the thinking of millions of people. Cy Howard, in creating and producing this radio program, Life with Luigi, has done the cause of human rights an immeasurable service. This program presents the problems of minority groups and the experiences of newcomers to America with sympathy, with humor, and with dignity. Therefore, on behalf of the Governor's Commission on Human Rights, I am proud to present a citation to Cy Howard and to commend his sponsor. Mr. Howard, all of us are proud to claim you as a native son of the city of Milwaukee and the state of Wisconsin and wish you many years of continued success in the field of entertainment to which you have already made such an outstanding contribution. Thank you, Mr. Bitker. It was a real thrill to come home again and broadcast from Milwaukee. And on behalf of all of the people who make the Life with Luigi program possible, my heartfelt thanks. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is produced and directed by Cy Howard and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman. 
J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco, with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Falding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music under the direction of Cesar Petrillo. Friends, the Wrigley Company invites you to listen to their other program, The Gene Autry Show, every Saturday night over most of these same CBS stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. Wings are here. Oh, from... No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're $5.99 for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.